In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you may create children's bedtime storybook and sell them on Amazon. So it's going to be a simple three-step process. Make sure you stick to me till the end. And for now, let's begin with the tutorial. The first step is getting the story ideas and creating the story. So for this, we are going to take the help of ChatGPT. Here my first prompt which I have given, give me some bedtime story ideas for kids. Make sure you mention 3 to 8 years or whatever is the target audience's age for your story. Okay, I have given 3 to 8 years. I got 10 such ideas, story ideas. Now you may choose one by one and elaborate the story and create the illustration for it. I will be showing you for one such story. So I will create a longer, longer story with it. So I will copy this. So I have got five chapter story, right? Now I will give my next prompt. So here basically I have got three characters. One is the bear whose name is Benny. One is Rosie the rabbit and one is Lumi the firefly. I will copy one by one and then we will go to the next next software where we will generate the images for this. Before we move forward friends, I have one small request to you. I have given myself a target of 2000 likes and 500 comments. So please do contribute your valuable opinion in the comment section and please smash the like button. Your support helps me to thrive every single day. With that, let's move forward to the next part. So for this, I'll be using one underrated app. I don't know why, Artflow, which is according to me, one of the best apps. So I'm going to use Artflow. I'm also going to give you an alternative because Artflow is not completely free. Uh, it will give 100 credits for free. I have come to artflow.ai. I have, I will be giving the link in the description. So here I will go to story studio, okay? And here I will go to new story option. Now here you will be getting two options. One is help me to get a story and here I have a story. So I'll give I have a story, okay? Now here they will ask some questions. Children's story, here the story characters, you'll have to give the name as I have already got the name. So I will just simply copy from here and character introduction. Add new character. I will go to Rosie the rabbit. Now we are not creating the scene. Understand? We are just creating the characters. So we will copy the characters one by one. Okay. You can create maximum three characters. Okay. So let me try with the first chapter only. Similarly, you can repeat the same process. Right? Now you'll have to give the story outline. So what I will do? Since I have done on the only the first chapter, so I will copy the first chapter and I will copy this and paste the chapter. One by one you can take the chapter and you can generate the story because they will also create the images as per the story. Right? So here your maximum number of words limit is 2000 at a time. So anyway you cannot accumulate the entire story. So chapter wise copy and paste and create and generate your characters. Right? Now create this story. Here you will be asked to select the aspect ratio, vertical or horizontal. I will go for horizontal and your style. So there are different types of styles, fantasy, sci-fi. As per your requirement, you can choose storybook. Okay, but I would like to go for 3D cartoon. They have created these three characters. Now I will go to continue to storyboard option. They will generate the images. It will take some while. Now, look at this. For every scene, for this chapter, they have created two, two images. So, this is the first image. And this is the second image, a close-up. So, what I would suggest is, since we are creating a book, therefore, you should save both the images. If at all any image does not resonate with your chapter, does not um, look good, then what you can do, you can go to this option 
and from here you can choose any of these or you can even go for none if you suppose you just want to create an ambience or a background so in that case you can create none and you can change the the background this this option okay and then that way it will generate another image first thing is you should right click save the image as it will be saved okay okay automatically this will get saved now come here right click open the image in new tab and it will get saved automatically okay like this you can take all these images save it i'll just do the same thing and then i will show you how to change it okay now we are done with the first chapter let us create the story for this we will head over to canva you will have to create a free account in canva so come here and go to the home page in the search bar give it story book here you will get many templates right so you can choose any of these templates let's suppose i'm choosing this template you know once you choose one at the bottom you get similar kind of templates which are free again you can free to use right so you can choose any of these well i'll stick to this only because i'm going to change it anyway so now i will go to add page okay and i will upload all those images now first i'll take a nice background so i'll give for it now in graphic section well this one is okay so i'll go for this and here i will take some more elements okay now this page will remain constant right here i will be uh, typing the the story first i'll keep all this selected along with pick pressing shift i'll make it a group here we will go to blob okay in the in the element section go to blob frame okay now go to see all here you will get many blob frames so take any of these blob frames make it a little bigger and increase or decrease the size and make it larger this way okay like this you keep adding blobs like this you can continue adding the images for the first scene we will not take this okay these two will remain so we will take this image as a background so what i will do i will go to this edit photo option well here i am going to use one small feature which is pro but this is not mandatory that is magic wrap i will grab this bear because i'll have to accumulate all these three characters so i will grab it but this option is only available for pro users so i strongly recommend you to go to my affiliate link where you can ha have a 30 days free trial you can use pro for 30 days and then any time you can cancel okay now here this one i will right click and set it as background now here i will make the pair big i'll take this one i'll grab again take it out and discard it okay i'll make the one a little bigger but not too big and here i will change it the name you can also bring this downwards and if you want to give some more space in between two lines please increase the line spacing to maximum so reduce the line spacing and here we will try to make these letters look different so I'll try to change the colors so you should select all these three to two together and put them and make it match and now we will have to just add the text here so I'll go to text text option or else what you can do is you can just duplicate this text if you want to use the same font or what i prefer is i prefer to have a new font so i'll go to text section and take a text box then you can change the color also you can make it little thick and change the color to dark green this green like this you have to fill up all the other pages so let me just finish that and come back now after you uh, give the direct speech when there you are you supposed to give something of dialogue then in that case you should go to elements now here i will duplicate it detach the image go to edit photo option 
Delete the frame. Okay. Go to edit photo option. Magic grab. Okay. Now press control or command. And here make it little bigger as if the bunny's ears are extended outside or maybe face is also extended a bit. Okay. And here this bunny keeping this keeping the control or command C. Make sure they are marched. Then select all these two together and group them. So what you will do? You will have to take a speech bubble. So here give speech bubble. You will get many speech bubbles in graphic section also. Just take one position, go to select the text and position it to the front and place it here. Place the bubble at the back. So go to layers and behind this group. Okay. And change the color to white. And from effects, color to black. Okay. You can also make the thickness a little more so that it is vibrant. Okay. So this is how you can also change the font a bit. If you want. For the speeches, you can keep the font different. Like so. Like this, you will have to continue doing everything. So like this, in just 10 minutes, you can get your story ready. After everything is done and you are satisfied, with it, go to this top right hand side corner share button, go to download. Here you will have to go for PDF print option. Keep all the pages selected, done, and download. Okay, one more thing if you want to create an animated clip book, then go to this share option once again, and here you'll have to go to this more option. And here you give clip. So you'll get all these options, clipbook uh, animation option. You can go to this simple booklet, clipbook option. Here they will already select all the pages, whichever you have, and done, and save it. It will save the design, and then it will allow you to download or get you a link to show or share in social media for advertising purpose so that people can go and buy the paperback book from your store. You can publish it directly to Amazon KDP. So you will have to go to this website which you are seeing on the screen. Please go to this website. It's a simple process. Just one thing that uh, the ISBN number which will be provided in Amazon will not be applicable for any other platform other than Amazon. Therefore, this book can only be sold in Amazon. You will not have the liberty to sell it in other platforms. In case you are not willing to do that, you can acquire uh, ISBN, your own ISBN, which will be your own sole uh, right ISBN, which can be used in any platform as long as you want. So I'll be leaving the related links in the description so that it becomes easy if you have any question or doubt please do let me know in the comment section and if you want to know different models different ai tools please do visit www.wagpaymedia.in where we have created a comprehensive course for you all which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment so guys if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request, please do share my content with your friends and family so that I can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all. Thank you so very much for staying here with me. I'll come back with some fun tutorial next week. Till then, stay safe and stay legendary.